I'm called Etie Walters Ngale, uh, popularly known as Walker the Barber. Um, I was born in 1996 in my home village called um, Kokoguma. Um, I had my like my primary school experience I had, I went to GS Down Beach, Limbe. Um, I grew up there, I grew up like all my life in Limbe. Um, I also went to a secondary school called um, GBHS Limbe. So that's where I had like my my educational experience in Limbe. And um, um, my high school, I had to experience that in uh, Bamenda, in a second school called Starlight College. But um, after that, I had to come to Boya for my vocational training uh, in OIC, which, um, which I studied computer maintenance. So the first, the right now, I'm involved by profession. So I've been in the barbering business for like, um, I think, four years. Um, um, since 2016, uh, so like I got into the barbing business because uh, there was this one day I was um, selling watermelon in the street, and I have this particular client. He usually buys my product, and um, he's a barber. He buys my product at the barber shop, and whenever I come there, he was like, "I want you to learn this business. I want you to learn this this skill." I was like, oh man, I'm good with my barbing, my watermelon stuff, I make a lot of money for me. He says, okay, when it's going to be ready, what are you going to do? Are you going to say watermelon? I was like, oh, maybe I have to try this because when it's going to be ready, I can't do food, I can't say watermelon because of the, the climate. So he was like, he gave me the opportunity and he took me to his friend. And from there, boom, that's where I started um, the barbing business. So let's speak a less privileged campaign. Or oh, it's, uh, it's a campaign I came up to like um, clean or to give free haircuts to the less privileged, especially the orphans. Um, we go to the orphanage, orphanages, um, prison yard, the, um, the IGPs and places of um, people that can't afford these services. We give the service for them for free. So it has been going on for like. Um, three months now um, and sometimes I go to do these services alone and uh, most often I go with a team but when I want to go like much um, different like for this like um, places I need a lot of finance I need to go alone because I cannot afford to like take a tip. I've been to like um, I've visited like um, seven orphanages um, in Boya, Chico, Limbe, uh, on Yaoundi. Um, what when I came up, I came up with this idea because whenever I look at um, pictures or videos of the orphans, there's this one particular thing I see in them. Their hair cuts or their hair are very very unkept. So I came up with this um, idea that okay, I don't have anything to give these um, people. So what I can do is like give my service or my skills for them for free. The reaction of the public has been so 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 great. The kids are they were so so happy whenever we go out to like do our campaign. They are so 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 happy. The management of the, the various uh, orphanages are so so happy. They they like they are so they like call sometimes. I remember when I was in Yaoundé, um, the orphanage I visited in, um, was it um, I think um, Boya. The, the director of the orphanage had to call me to like tell me to. Like say a big thanks to what I did, and um, when I visited an orphanage in Tico, when we finished doing the job, we were like um, they gave us the hand sanitizer to like um, say the time a big time to and to like support our movement. So they gave us hand sanitizers. When I was in um, Yaounde, when we finished doing our job, the management of the orphanage wanted to give us a transport fare to like Uba, where we had to like say no because. We came there with a chance for fair and we came there to like give them our services for free, not for them to pay us. So that's part the fact that I'm doing this for free, we are doing this for free and my, me and my team we have been facing a lot of challenges because um, like as Baba, 
or clippers or the, the, the tools we use to like give do these services uh, sometimes they get bad and when they get bad we need to like um, get new ones and sometimes we can afford to like pay the transportation fee to like go to like some interior villages um, sometimes when I would like, I remember when I wanted to go to Yaoundé, I wanted to go with my team, I had to visit two orphanages, I had to go there alone because of the, the transportation fee and the, 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 the feeding and rest, so I had to go there alone. So I visited these two orphanages, um, I had to cut a minimum of 50 kids alone, so it, it's not like, it's not easy. So we are literally facing a little bit of challenges and um, with the project we have in mind, uh, it's going to be need a lot, a lot, a lot of support. With these challenges, it is obvious that I can't do this alone. So definitely, there will be a need of sponsors, volunteers, and partners to help this, to help these kids. You can, you can do this, you can do this financially, materially, and with your skills. Let's come together and put a smile on these kids. Well, in the beginning, going from one city or one city to another has been uh, challenging because of the lockdown that uh, will, will be beating against the odds so of the whole world. You can reach me on all social media platforms at World Code the Barber. Um, and normal calls, text messages, and WhatsApp at plus two three seven six seven three five nine four nine three one. Thanks to IJOS Africa for giving me this opportunity to talk to you guys, and thank you guys for viewing. I'm very very happy to hear from you guys. Ciao. Let them let you for something. The party.